Hi everyone and welcome back to another Vlog Files. The room's taking shape. As you can see, I've got the consoles lined here, the retro consoles, and I've started with Atari right up to GameCube, Xbox, original, and kind of got other things there like a PS3 and all that. We will have a look at that a bit later. The ambience feels good. It's a little bit sterile at the moment in terms of being so white. And I've got this orange wall. And that's why I've put this poster of Forgotten Worlds up here. Uh, that won't be staying here. I just wanted to see how art would look. Uh, that'll be going in the arcade room. So let's come over to this side. So I've got my PC um, still getting set up. That monitor I bought had a bit of dust, um, dust behind the screen. Uh, actually, it was in between the front panel, which is like a perspex glass, and the LCD. And I was tapping it, and you could see the dust fall down, but then it got stuck, so I said, nah, I'll have to take it back regardless. So I come over to here, and then we've got the modern consoles, and they're all set up, and they're looking great. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. It's, it's exactly what I want. The height's perfect for these big screens. So this bench is lower than the retro bench. Um, and then we've got some computers on the floor over here, and then we come over and look at this. This is, this is probably, the, I'm most happiest about this. And this is just gonna be for all my computers. It looks a bit squashed, but it's not so bad. It, it looks at it at the start when, you, when I kind of first set it up, but now I'm really used to it. So I've gotta put my Blank Hook um, SCART TV there, and that'll be for my C64 the um, Amstrad 464, the Spectrum and the Amiga go to that big TV. And then um, I'm gonna have another Amiga here that's going to this one, the 128D, Amiga 4000 with the monitor, Apple IIe and Atari ST. So I've got all the kind of those major computers from back in the day. There are other ones, Amiga 600, 1200, um, Commodore Plus 4, Commodore 16. So uh, just running out a bit of, out of room a little bit, uh, but it was a lot of fun to actually make this. And I had my friend Bruno come over and help me design it. And I never would have thought of anything like this. You can actually see, well, you can't see, that's, that's the trick. So all the cabling going to this TV actually goes underneath this gap here. And there's about a hundred mil um, uh, millimeter spaces where we can feed cables through and then they can connect to the monitor. So you don't really see any wires. See like this Amiga one, it's all hidden and it goes in between these two, um, these two desks, if you like. So that's it. So this is really good. It's, it's taking shape. It's early morning at the moment. Um, so I've got a bit to do today. So uh, we'll have a quick look at um, what happened in the week, like how we're making this, and then we'll come back. So, look. Yep, I understand. It's good. 
And TVs? It's unreal. Before I start bringing the arcades over to this room, I need to tidy up this mess. This room is uh, absolute, it's crazy. So I've got to try and make some room. What I'm going to do is get the simulators here and put them up on these pinballs. I've put some bubble wrap down. The only problem is they're extremely heavy. Okay, well it's just gone dark. It's actually pretty late Friday night. And I've got I've got to stop. I've been going all morning, all afternoon. And that's it. Have a look through here. Um, you can see there's a lot more space I've created. As I said, I've put the simulators up the top. And I'm going to put the seats on top of those pinballs. I'm just going to put something down like a big cloth or a bit of wood um, to make sure everything's safe. And then coming through here, we've got this space I've created and this will be where virtual racing will go. It'll go in this spot here. Um, I've already bring in some wooden parts for the virtual racing, the 800 kilo virtual racing. So that'll go here and then the others will follow. But that's it for now. Um, I've spent probably more time in here today organizing things than I have, um, have done anything else. So we'll go inside before we do. I'll quickly show you a pinball that I'm excited to have. Uh, just came today, I didn't get it on camera. It's GoldenEye by Sega. Uh, so the GoldenEye pin. And being a James Bond fan, I really want the pin. I think I only played it once back in the day, um, but now I'm a lot more into pins since then. And that was a good one to, to have. And there's a big story behind that, uh, but I will explain that story in future, in future vlogs. Let's head inside. So here is virtual racing and as you can see, it's pretty dismantled. Uh, it's ready to go over. I still need to put a trolley under it because the wheels on these machines are not the best, but I've good, got a good dolly trolley. Dolly trolley. <laughs> I've got a good dolly where I can um, put these machines on and wheel it over there. Same with the head and that's where all the weight is, that big widescreen CRT. It's pretty weighty. Let's go in to the console room and I'll show you the lighting. All right, I mean this, it just feels so good in here. It actually feels warm. I don't know if it's coming across like that on the camera, but it just feels very inviting, which is a good thing. Um, and just, I just noticed even when I was walking in there, it just felt warm. So as you can see, I've got all the shelves, not all of them, but I've got the shelves all LED'd. Um, so it's LED strip lighting and they're all the same brightness that took, it took ages to kind of set that up because if you have just one adapter and you trail the lights like that, you can see them getting brighter and then duller. So I had to use several adapters and different wire types. It was a headache. And on this side, on with the modern consoles, I have got um, the same LED lighting and it looks very nice. It's not something you have on all the time, it's kind of for show. Um, Luke's play, playing um, Super Mario 3D World. How's it going, Luke? It's good. <laughs> so he's just, again, within the game. So uh, that's it, and here's the monitor. I've got a new, a brand new fresh monitor, and hopefully there's no dust in this in the screen. So that's it, so I'll set that up tomorrow and I'll definitely do a tour of this room when it's finished next week. So I should be finished by then because there's a few other things I'm going to be doing in the room which are going to look pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, and that's it. And I've put the Blankpook TV up um, since then. That's all been connected. I haven't powered it up. I'll save that for the tour and we'll go right around the room and it'll be, it'll be good. And then once this room's finished, it's on to the games room to get those arcades out and um, to set that up. I keep calling it an arcade room, but it's not no longer got that title. So it'll be known as the library. Um, and this will be kind of the play area and the future will be the arcade room. So I hope that is pretty easy. I'm sure that's um, explained. Any questions, anything you wanna kind of know, um, now's the time to ask because um, I'll answer them within the tour 
next week. And if you've got any suggestions, by all means. Um, yeah. And, oh, one thing I will say is I'm going to possibly do a big mural there. So I'm not going to paint it. Mandy might paint something. I was actually thinking of Last Ninja with the two eyes. Have a black with the two eyes, but it might bring in the room. That's something I'm thinking about. And the joy pads are going to go in here now. Instead of here, I think it might encroach on the room. The joy pads will go there. And then I've got to get into uh, the game in the library, dismantle those arcades, and that could take weeks to kind of get that room, even just at a stage where I'm happy with it. I'm trying to empty the whole room out and not put too many shelves in there and just look at everything before I bring games in. In fact, you're probably asking where are those games gone? Come on. In fact, we'll intervene for a second. Could I just borrow mum? So this is my mum. Do you want to say hi, mum? Hi. <laughs> so my mum had to put up with me all those years, video game. I'd actually brainwash mum. So, um, true. true. So you're, you're um, you know, you're, if I, like, look at this, this is not set up. What's this, mum? Do, 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 do. Mm. Girls and ghosts. No, oh, no, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sorry about my, uh, yeah, anyway, that's my mum. So there'll be many story modes where I'll reference my mum, so at least now you can see what she looks like. Um, I was, yeah, so we'll go and check out the games room. Thanks, mum. Just a little surprise. And this is it. Look at this. It's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. So all the games and consoles are actually stored in here. Um, yeah, they're all, um, yeah. Not all of them yet, but majority of them are in here in boxes, consoles. Um, we'll walk through here. Um, yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's all, it's all behind there. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. And I've got an Amiga 500 here and I've retro brighted it, which I'll be doing a segment on within the next uh, month. So that's why the keys are off. Yes, yeah, so there you go. That's, that's where all the games are being stored at the moment. They're being brought over, but there's still a lot more to uh, bring over and they'll be just stored here temporarily. And that is that. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been a few little surprises in it. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.